بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله it's important for us to practice the sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in everything that we do and in the way that we interact with one another in how we treat one another and how we interact with the rest of creation that we should go back to the foundation of what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was exhibiting in his call to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that was that he was gentle, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what we see from ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we see that that gentleness is a such an important trait. It's a trait that opens the hearts of your detractors even. And it opens the hearts of those who are close to you. And it opens the heart of all the people in general. That when you, as they say, kill a person with kindness, then it is very difficult for them unless they are super hard in their uh, reaction and in their harshness and sometimes in their evil and they will respond likewise instead of responding in kind, meaning instead of re, uh, responding with gentleness as well. Our Sheikh Abd Razak Al Bedr, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he mentions in his, uh, his, in a part of his da'wah on his website, uh, an athar of the salaf. And some ahadith of the Prophet Wasallam about this important topic of gentleness. And ahabatifillah, if we become more gentle, the creation will respond in a better fashion towards us. Meaning, if they see the real picture and image of Islam, instead of always closing ourselves and always closing our hearts to everyone, even in the smallest ways then they will have a better image of Islam. And on top of that, you will see that there will be much more kabul. There will be much more acceptance from some of the people, those people whose hearts are already, or those people who are impressed by the excellent conduct of the Muslim. So this is why it's so important. This is why the uh, Imma wrote these beautiful treatises, why you find in books like Riyadh the Salihin, and even Bulugh al-Maram, and all the uh, the books of Ahadith, and uh, the books of Hadith, and and even the Salaf, some of our Salaf, used to write in treatises uh, that were uh, that were written specifically for this point, the point of showing of, of kindness and gentleness and its place in the religion. Listen to what... Uh, in the hadith um, uh, in Bukhari, the hadith of Aisha, on Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, ana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, ya Aisha, inna allaha rafiq, ya uh, yuhibbu rifq fi amri kullihi. Uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, the mother of the believers, wulaw kari al-kafirun, she said that the, she reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Aisha, O Aisha, verily Allah is the most gentle, Rafiq. He's so generous, he's so, uh, he's so merciful to us, and he is so kind to his creation. In Allah Rafiq, verily Allah is Rafiq, and he loves gentleness. In all affairs, Ruah Muslim. Uh, this is Bukhari. In the narration in Sahih Muslim, the Al-Fadh or the left, the uh, statement was reported as such, Ya Aisha, in the Laha Rafiq, you hibbu rifq, wa yu'ti ala rifq ma la yu'ti ala unth. So in the narration in Sahih Muslim, it was reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, Ya Aisha, O Aisha, 
Verily, Allah is Rafiq, and He loves gentleness. And He gives that which comes, uh, he, he gives the, the you know, basically the excellent result from gentleness, which you can, which does not occur when one is violent, meaning violent or harsh or stern. And what is other than that? So being, meaning gentleness is where we want to focus our energy. That doesn't mean all situations are the same. That doesn't mean every time we command the good and forbid the evil that we're only gentle. No, sometimes there's a time to be stern. And that depends, that goes back to the fiqh of al-amr bi ma'ruf wa nahi wa munkar wa fiqh fi deen. And, and knowing the musahale wa mafasid, the harms and the benefits. And your station over someone. So, for example, you don't tell your boss, even if you're a boss, you cannot... Uh, respond and command the good and forbid the evil with your superior, meaning your superior of your boss or a leader or what have you, in the same way you could with your own child or the neighborhood children. And even the neighborhood children is different than your own child as far as you being responsible for them and being in authority over. So it's very important to have this fiqh fideen. And Imam Muslim also narrated another hadith in this regard, which is imperative for us to contemplate and reflect upon. On Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, anna nabiyyi sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam qal, inna rifqa la yukun fi shay illa zanahu, wa la yunzi'u an shay illa shanahu, ruahu Muslim, Aydan, in another hadith in Sahih Muslim, on Jarir ibn Abdullah, on an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قال, وَمَنْ يُحْرِمَ الرِّفْقِ يُحْرِمَ الْخَيْرِ So in the first hadith, the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala radiallahu ta'ala <coughs> she reported that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, gentleness does not result in anything except that it beautifies it. Or the effect of gentleness upon anything is that it beautifies it. And it and nothing results from being from the lack of gentleness uh, when gentleness is removed, except that it is, you know, ugly. It's been, um, it's, it's made the affair more, uh, less appealing. Okay? So it shows us, Ahabat Tefillah, the importance of Rifq. And as we mentioned in the first hadith, Inna Allah Rafiq yuhibbu Rifq fi amri kulli. That verily is Allah is our Rafiq, is Rafiq. And he loves gentleness in all affairs. And in the last hadith, the hadith on uh, uh, Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala in which he narrated that the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when that a person, that when a gentleness is prohibited from something, then that means khayr is prohibited from it. So that shows us what? The importance of being gentle and gentle in giving understanding and imparting knowledge and gentle in commanding the good and forbidding the evil. That these are, this is an important tenet, an important characteristic of our faith and a characteristic of the mu'min and the wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the awliya, of course, they have the characteristics of those those beloved characteristics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. And the fact that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is rafiq, yuhibbu rafq, and he loves gentleness, that the one who loves gentleness and the one who practices gentleness, of course, accompany with tawheed, with sunnah, then they are of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, bi idnillah ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to bless us 
With ilm nafi ruskin taibu amalim wa taqabbilan Allahumma ini isalaka hubbuk wa hubba man yuhubbuk wa hubba li kulli amalim Ballaghni hubbuk Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad